Hey everybody, Dogman Luigi, and welcome back to more Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Last time, we, uh, finished off the Forest Temple, and head off to Death Mountain, and, uh, today we are going to go to the next temple, yay! But first of off, we need to equip our new clothes, because it is really recommended. We have the Goron tunic. Doesn't it look awesome? Yeah, it looks a lot better than just the Kokiri tunic or whatever. Now, you might be wondering, where the heck do we have to go? Not a lot of people know that you can actually pull this, but you can actually pull this, so... We just need to do that, and now we have a secret passage! Yay! And we are here at the Death Mountain Crater! I was hoping for magic, but whatever. And you need to use the hook shot. There we go. Oh, it's shake again. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it. You, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Burler of Fire. Now this song is like the best song of all the warping songs. This song is just awesome. Yeah, it's just awesome. Ah, really? I felt that the I felt the most awesome song ever. There we go! Sheesh! Alright! Okay! We have learned the Bow of Fire! Yep! Luigi, I'll see you again. You say that every time we... After we learn a song. A ah, fire! And Sheik just backs away and then poof. <laughs> okay. So. Here is where this one. That one. Ocarina uh, thing is. And believe it, believe it or not. If you come over here. We will be entering the next temple. Believe it or not. So, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Fire Temple. This place can get tricky. Probably even more trickier than the um, Forest Temple. Because my friend has never passed this temple. He got stuck at one point. I wish I knew what point he got stuck at. <laughs> Who's there? Is that you, Luigi? Oh, it really is, Luigi. You've grown up so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk to you with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon Vagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to others races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning race land. I will go on ahead to try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Luigi, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Luigi. Okay, so... Apparently, Duran is going to try and kill the boss. You know, who doesn't have that the certain item. But we're, what's kind of different from, from the forest temples, what we're going to be doing in this temple is we're going to be saving Gorons and pretty much collecting keys. And they'll be in this, these cells. And you have to press the switch, and then you'll free a Goron. Each Goron will tell you pretty much a useful tip. Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? If, I'll tell you a secret for saving me. 
In order to get into the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about that pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to a room above the ceiling right away. Okay, fine. And after you say every uh, go on, you get a small treasure chest with a small key, basically. So you really need to save all of the Gorons. If you miss a Goron, you're screwed. Because there's no other way to beat this temple without saving all the Gorons. So, yeah. Anyways, we have a key now. We can now go in this, that room. Yay! Okay, so... If we go left or right, there are two rooms that we can go to that both have a small key. And we are obviously going to go in there. Now, what's cool, very cool about the Garn Tunic is you can walk on lava for a certain amount of time. Obviously, if you walk on lava for a certain amount of time, then the you will start to hurt. But you don't hurt get you don't get burned as fast as you do without the Goron Tunic. So that's really good. And here we have another cell with another Goron. And I'm gonna say same thing. Same thing to go. Same thing. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron special crop, crop will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. Yeah, the, these Gorons say special crop, and what spe special crop is actually is bombs. At first, I actually thought that the Gorons, like the special crop, was the dungeon item of this game, which is kind of stupid, but that's what I thought at first. So, yeah, call me stupid, but I guess it's deniable. Deniable, yeah. Do not go to the other side yet, because there is another door of time block thingy. It's probably what I'm going to call those things from now on. <laughs> okay, and apparently there's another door right there that we can go in. Which is awesome! Anywhere in this room with a gold sculpture. We got these platform thingies that are flying out at us. The floor is alive! What is that thing actually? I can't lock onto it, seriously? Now you can't help me with this one? Okay, what that thing is there is that's a uh what is it gonna Yeah oh yeah, like like. Yeah, this thing is a jerk. If you if it eats, starts eating you, he will swallow up your tunic and your shield. So you really do not want it to let it, to let it eat you. So you want to attack it as quick as you can. And you can't attack it when it does that. You can't get too close cuz you can't attack it. And yeah. There we go, that guy. And mainly here for the gold sculpture. Which we are gonna get Yay! Awesome! Okay... So, now we have gone all the things we, we have we can get in that side. Now let's go to the other side! Awesome! Okay... So... Oh man. Ah! Uh, and, uh, what do we have to do now? Here, because it doesn't look like anything we can do, but. Weird wall! That means blow it up! Yay! And now we can go inside. Which, there's another cell with another Goron. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut to activate, but you can also use the Goron special crop to do the job. Yeah, 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 Goron special crop, whatever. And it, let's not forget this small key, of course, because you'll be needing, be needing a lot of them. Like, literally. Oh, Gah. wow! 
I thought there was actually a platform when I fell. Fell. Okay, so no. Oh, that guy didn't fall. No, you jerk. Okay, I'm right here. Anyways, this is where we need to go. So let's go here. Okay, so we can slide down. And we can use this hook shot. Yay! And we've got these annoying little enemies. Thank you for the health, I really appreciate it. What you need to do is push this block and they'll fall down to where that fire is. Oh, well, you might be asking, why do we need to do that? Because if you do this, this will actually be sort of like an elevator that you can you need to jump on this and then we will fly up into the sky. Yeah. And this is why we need two keys, because there's a door key right key door right here, whatever. And you see that there's another server right there, but how the heck do we get over to there? You might see that there's a switch over there, so we'll be back here in a bit. These things are called I completely forgot what these are called. Torch slug. Yeah, these guys are pretty annoying. You just need to keep attacking and, and but they will always, always give off well when you kill them, they always give you some magic power. So that is really good if you need more magic power and you can kill them and yeah. That's pretty awesome. So let's push this block. Let's push it pull it right here. Okay. Let's climb up. Oh, seriously? Uh There we go, finally. Okay, you know, might you might you see that there's a fly fire right there and apparently that that's where we need to go. But you can't use a hook shot, so you might be wondering what how how do we get this? Okay, so we have to go down there and hit that switch, but that won't be enough time. Use bomb flowers. And they're gonna climb up. And now you have plenty of time to get up. Unless if you're like not moving at all. Which could be an issue. And there we go. Plenty of time. Or if you just like fall down right to the beginning of the room and on accident. Yeah, it can be kind of an issue. Here you have this like uh, bird's eye view room where there's boulders and annoying stuff and there's a whole bunch of stuff right here. And you see that there is a Skullchaw inside that wall. Another gold Skullchaw is gotten. Oh yeah. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, another door. Which has another cell to open. Uh, yeah, yeah. When you are on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword or by rolling forward. Do you know that? Yeah. You can also roll forward, if you're on fire, you can roll forward, or you can swing your sword and all that stuff, and yeah. Another small key, because we need that small key. Oh boy, I really hope I don't forget any of the gold sculptures in this room, I really don't. That'd be really bad if I do. And I have to go all the way back here and... That shouldn't have hit me. Okay. Say what you want. I don't care. Don't go in that room yet. Ah, oh, seriously? Okay, there's another cell. With another going on, yay, but most importantly another key, so yeah. Uh 
Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot to read that, but who cares? All the, all the secrets that they go on, so I pretty much already know, so they're completely useless to me. Huh. But yeah. Ouch. Okay. So, let's go in here. Alright. And here we are in this hard room. Where I'm really gonna get all these hearts because I really want full health. And you really need to be careful. And this is probably the room that I suggest using your, uh, Ferrari's win. Because if you fall down there. It's not, you're not going to have an easy time trying to get back up, so I really suggest using Ferrari's run right here if you fall. Highly doubt I will fall, but just in case. Because, you know, it is completely possible. Mm. Yep, there we go. And you need uh, to shoot that ice switch right there. There we go! And here we are at this room where we're gonna get a treasure chest, apparently. And which has the dungeon map. Awesome. Okay, come on. There we go. And you really still wanna be careful. Really careful. Really careful. There we go. Apparently, wow, apparently I didn't, I didn't need to use the fur ice wind at all, which is good. And then apparently we are in that same room where, where we got the dungeon map, or just out of the cage. Oh no, it's a trap! Ah, run away from the firewall! Yeah! Can't believe I made that reference, but who cares? Okay. So let's go. Carry on this room. I believe it or not, if you go look right, you'll see. I believe there's a scarecrow if you look up there. There's another scarecrow up there. So play the scarecrow song. There we go. Okay. Let's go up there. All right. There's a hookshot thing right there. This room is completely optional, and it's for a gold sculpture, and I am apparently gonna get it. Okay. Um. Okay, another gold sculpture right here. Alright. Another gold sculpture. Gotten. And here we are in this room. Yep, there's another gold sculpture right there. Yay! Now I'm not sure if you can actually do this yet. As you can see, there's a switch there. I'm just gonna try it. Even though if it's completely useless, which I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. Yes. 200 rupees. Uh, who would have thought? 
But anyways, I'm going to end this episode right off here. So if you like this part, please subscribe, comment, and like if you want. I'll see you guys next time for more of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is Dark Mario Luigi, signing out. Peace.